Today I'm going to show you how to make an individualized lamp out of a standard 250 milliliter solar can. All you need for this is a can, some 3D printed parts and if you want to use LED some electronics. So first of all I'm going to show you how to open the can, how you can get rid of the lid. Then I will show you a technique how to stabilize the can because it tends to buckle when you're piercing it. Then I will show you a few different approaches how to get your design onto the surface or how to perforate the can. If you want you can finish the surface of the can or you can leave it raw. I will show you some things I've tried so far. Yeah, And at last I'm going to show you how to illuminate the can and make a cool lamp out of it. The easiest way to open the can is get rid of the top lid because it's joined there. One way is uh, to use sanding paper. Just lay it flat on the table and then grind around with the top lid. This may take some time. What I found easier was using a file until the metal sheets divide and you get a little gap like you can see here. I also tried a can opener or box cutter to cut around but it didn't work very well. Both of them damaged the can so much you couldn't use it anymore. Then you can easily remove the cap. The next thing you will have to do is stuff the can with some paper towels or newspaper. This will prevent the can from buckling when you're going to pierce it with a needle. So I designed this 3D printable template you can use to pierce the to pierce the can and get your designs onto the surface. So what I use for piercing is a medical needle size 18. You can easily get at the pharmacy. It has an outside diameter of 1.2 millimeters. The specific needle has a pink uh, plastic fitting. Basically what you do is put the can inside the template and then use the needle to pierce through the holes. Now we'll show you a little example on how you can make a design of your own. Um, you can use PowerPoint like me or Inkscape, Illustrator really doesn't matter. Just create a rectangle to cut out later. Then place the design inside the rectangle. In this case, I chose a Batman symbol. You can also add some decoration. When you're finished, go to print. Don't forget to deactivate scaling. When you printed it out, Cut out the rectangle and glue it to the can. Afterwards you can push the sleeve over the can and as you can see it's very well visible where you have to perforate. Grinding the surface worked medium well. It works at some point, but you will have to do 
a lot of sweat work. I read on the internet that heating up the can will make it easier to remove the color from the surface. My experience didn't make any difference. I also tried soaking the can in acetone overnight. Didn't make any difference as well. At last, what worked a little better than only grinding is grinding and working the surface with acetone afterwards. The best results I got from sandblasting, of course not everybody has access to sandblasting, so my personal tip would be spray painting. With this you can just achieve a very nice surface. As a light source you can either use a candle, if you want to use a candle print out um, a foot as you can see it here, place a candle light inside and light it. But be careful with a uh, candle the metal can can, can get really hot um, so be careful not to burn yourself. If you choose to use LEDs print out the other design specifically for the LED stripe. This has to be printed with supports. The foot has two holes, one rectangular one for the switch and a round one for the power connector. The arc on top is where the LED stripe goes. This is the switch I use, pretty standard. As a power connector I chose a um, standard DC barrel connector for 12 volts. These LED stripes can be bought in continuous stripes but also in a cuttable way. Now we have to do some soldering. Cut two wires about 60 millimeters in length. Solder them to the LED strip. Now peel off the back and glue the LED strip to the arc. Push the cables through the hole so it goes on the downside of the foot. Also the cables to the connector and the switch. And to close the circuit we need another little piece. And we're ready to go. Here I use a 12 volt power source, just plug it in. And it works. In general I prefer the LED strips over the candle. The LEDs are much brighter and don't get too hot. With a candle it can be a little bit tricky. Well I hope you enjoyed the video. Have fun trying it out yourself.